Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Smart Area Hub Mumbai. In today's video, I shall explain to you how to use the quadratic formula. As you are aware, any quadratic equation can be written in its general form as ax square plus bx plus c. Now, since I am calling it as an equation, I can also say ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Okay. Now, if I want to find out the root of this equation or the value of x for this equation, I can simply use a formula which says that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac the whole thing divided by 2a now this you can make use of while solving your quadratic equations now for the ib you need not memorize the formula because the data booklet will definitely have the formula given to you but for the igcse kids yes you need to buy hard this formula for your examinations okay so let's take a practical example of this quadratic formula. Suppose you are asked to solve an equation of the form x squared plus 4x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now in the first case what you need to do is you need to identify what's your a. a is 1, your b is 4 and your c is minus 6. Once you've identified your a, b and c, then you can use your quadratic formula. I mean the, yeah, the quadratic um, formula which is x equals minus b. So what's your b? It's 4. So minus 4 plus or minus square root of, that was b square minus 4ac. Your b is 4, so it's 4 square minus 2 into a into c. a is 1 and c is minus 6. And the whole thing divided by 2a. So 2 into a is 2 into 1. Now let's solve it further. So ideally when you plug it into your calculator, you can get an even simplified value as minus b plus or minus square root of 40 divided by 2 and which is nothing but minus 2 plus or minus square root of 10. Therefore solving it further you get 1.16 and minus 5.16. So what are the roots of the quadratic equation or the x values of the quadratic equation? They are 1.16 and minus 5.16. Okay. So this is how you Solve the given quadratic equation with the help of a formula. Now let's take another example. Suppose the equation given to you is of the form 3x square equals 7x plus 6. The first thing that you need to do is make it into a standard form. That is it should look something like ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll bring everything from the right to the left. So therefore it becomes 3x squared plus 7x becomes minus 7x plus 6 becomes minus 6 and that is equal to 0. Once again we identify our a, a is 3, our b is minus 7 and c is equal to minus 6. So now we make use of the quadratic formula which is x equals so x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and if you substitute a b and c you get minus b now b is minus 7 plus or minus square root of b square so again it means minus 7 square minus 4 into a into c so 4 into 3 into minus 6 and the whole thing divided by 2 the whole thing divided by 2 into a so that is 2 into 3 
and solving it further we get plus 7 plus or minus you need to plug in the calculator to get these values and the whole thing divided by 6 so eventually you end up getting either plus 7 plus square root 121 divided by 6 or plus 7 minus square root 121 divided by 6 and and that gives me equals to 3 or it gives me equals to minus 2 upon 3. So this is how you make use of the quadratic formula to solve the given equation. Okay and finding the root means finding the x values. So that's all in today's video in using quadratic formula. I hope you like watching my video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you like. Thank you.